Okay. So hopefully you can see my screen. Let me just try. We'll go to a web browser. Let's just start off. We'll just go to the Open Seizure Detector uh, website. And then down here, we'll go to Garmin Installation Instructions. Again, we'll just click on Installation there. And then this actually tells us to go to another page for the uh, for the main installation instructions. So we'll go there. Right. Now, uh, if we just look down here, because we're interested in the Garmin Watch app for your problems, we'll go to Garmin Watch app. And here we are. So it says download the latest version of the Watch app, which is called Garmin SD version, then XX means a number dot PRG from my source code repository here. So we'll click on that. In fact, what we'll do is we'll right click and do open a new tab just so that it's uh, we can go back to the instructions easily. And that takes you to this list of all of the um, the source code for it. And what we have is a number of Garmin SD PRG files for the different versions of it. And the latest one is version 0 0.8. So we'll click on that and scroll down. And, and here, what you can see is uh, we have an option to say download. So we'll click on that. Get a warning here to say it might harm the computer. So I'm going to say keep because I trust myself. And it's downloaded. So we have we have a Garmin SD 0.8.prg file that we've downloaded. So we'll go back to the uh, instructions. And it says connect the watch to the computer and it should appear as a disk drive. So what we'll do is we'll plug that in. Excellent encouraging noise. That was, that was me connecting the watch to the computer. And I think once Windows has sorted itself out, it should open it in a file, it's in a file explorer for us. Somewhere. There. Right. So, um, that, that's open. That's the, so that, that's the Garmin Vivo Active 3 has appeared as a disk drive on the, com on the computer. But the file we've just saved will have gone to downloads because uh, we, we, we downloaded that with the web browser. So we'll just click on downloads. Yeah, and there we are. We can see that that's the file that we've downloaded. But the instructions said, let's just go back to those. The instruction says we need to rename it as Garmin SD.prg. So basically, we need to take away the uh, the version 0.8. So we'll just go back to the uh, file explorer, and I'll do the rename here. So if we right click on that, there should be a rename option there. And then we can just click down there, and we can just delete that bit. Enter. So, can, so we've now got a file called Garmin SD.prg, which is what the instruction said. Right click on that, and do a copy. And then we'll go up to the Garmin Vivo Active disk drive down on, on the left there. We need to go into the Garmin folder. And then we need to go into the apps folder. Um, and then, well, there's, all, there's already a Garmin SD.prg file there because uh, you know, I've already got it installed on my watch. But what we'll do to copy this on is we'll right click in here and we'll do paste. We'll say replace the file because. Uh, if, if you haven't installed it before, you won't, you won't have to get that. And it's copied that on, which is good. So now we'll just uh, move out of that folder, then go to the Garmin SD um, for disk drive, and we'll do eject. So we right click and select eject. There, it says it's safe to remove the hardware, so we can disconnect it. And having done that, that's everything. And then you should be able to uh, go through the um, the rest of it. And you, and you, should, you, should, you should see the Garmin SD app appear on your uh, on, on your watch. And there's some uh, uh, instructions on starting the watch app down there. So, how do I switch off recording?